hello and welcome to this game. I will be your host, Corona Force 5, and uh, we'll get right to this game here in the top left hand corner. It is Fnatic and spawning is the blue Protoss. And in the bottom right hand corner, it is the one and only Marine King Prime. Spawning is the red Terran or fake boxer, but nobody calls him that anymore. No, he's just Marine King Prime. Now it's important to note that Fnatic End did lose the, the last game, so spoiler alert, um, go watch the game because it is actually quite interesting. Regardless of who won, it, it's interesting to see exactly what each player does and uh, the, the mistakes and whatnot. If you can learn from someone else's mistakes, um, then that, that is good because that is a pretty good talent to have. You can't go through every situation always. Yurasa just crossed. Um, I'm not sure what that meant, but Zotac Ursadon says yes. Oh, must, must have been Ursadon. Um, only cross. Uh, I'm confused. <laughs> what? what? What does only cross mean? If somebody knows what only crosses, only cross means, just tell me in the comments below. Uh, that'd be great. Anyway, Fnatic End here is going for um, going for a fairly standard build, as is expected against a, uh, anything really. Now, Marine King Prime is going to. What is he going to do? It looks like he's going to wall off here at some point. That's what he's hoping to do. Most likely to high tech. Because that is really the only thing to do against a Protoss. Hiding tech is what you do against Protoss. And uh, Zergs, you just don't want them to six pull you. And uh, yep, there's the factory. He is teching. This is an early tech. Uh, by any any means of, this, of the word. And uh, that means, most likely, everything means something here in this game, apparently. Uh, that's my new catchphrase. Uh, this means that, and that means this. But, Cybernetics Core is done, and that means Warp Gate will start. Important to realize he is not chrono boosting that out. Uh, instead, he is going to chrono boost his economy. He is supply blocked right now. This is huge. Uh, the pylon was not started soon enough, and he's no longer supply blocked. But that was a bad supply block. It was supply blocked for at least 10 seconds there, I think. And now double Hellions could do a lot of damage. And now Night End even going for an early expansion here after only one gate and going for the cyber core. Now it does make sense as he was only chrono boosting his economy, but two Hellions. Oh, that was a brutal death scene right there. That that marine just he just he just gave up on life there. Uh, now some Hellions versus a zealot. Uh, we know who's gonna lose here, um, and it is not the Hellions. This is a small victory here for Marine King, but now he's up against a, a Stalker, and he can't do that. A couple gateways on the way, but now actually trying to attack move. A, ooh, how many units have fallen? Five so far. Could even get one more. Can he get one more? Oh, he gets one. Can he get another? No, he's dead. Let's take a look at the workers lost. How much did they, they kill seven? And uh, it looks like Marine King once again has killed the economy of his opponent. A robotics facility down for Night End. And this could be an interesting game here. Once again, might even go for a Colossus timing push. No, uh, we'll see if that happens against Marine King and his Hellions, possibly not, no, he's deciding to Chrono Boost out Marines. 
after something like this, you would expect um, maybe some more tech, and that is not what Marine King Prime is doing. But no, Marine King is actually doing something uh, surprising. This is uh, this is why Marine King Prime is the best. He can do just about anything. I have not seen, I, I've seen builds that I would not think were even possible, but Marine King Prime pulls them off. He didn't even go surprisingly greedy either of these games, and that's something he's known for, but the reason he is, uh, people don't punish him for go going so greedy is because he is capable of doing stuff like this. And if, if you go greedy to counter his greedy, and he doesn't actually go greedy, then it is a lot of trouble. Now here we have tanks. Uh, the first tank is finished here. He's not researching siege mode yet, but that is uh, that will likely happen anytime soon. He, he will go the bio uh, tank composition here after those four Hellions did the damage that they wanted to. 18 workers, 18 workers. Um, I feel like I missed something there because last I saw it was 8 either that or I'm blind and it was 18 and I just didn't know it now a good look at a pretty fair location here for this pylon creating a natural choke to prevent any hellion run bys but that is not going to happen immortals on the way most likely to deal with the with the possibility of the incoming tanks and he is even building a Twilight Council, so he's going high tech once again. And against a, a marine force as such, um, this is a single engineering bay. Where is he putting it? He's putting it on the low ground. The observer can spot this army composition. He sees the medevac is finished. Um, Actually, not too many medevacs have been built here. And once again, Night End is supply blocked. He's building three pylons here to prevent that from happening again. But this is really bad. What what it what was bad just got worse because he now has to wait for uh, he missed the spawn cycle, and now he's throwing down a few more gateways with that extra money. Some High Templar are finished, but Storm is not done yet. In fact, he isn't even researching it. Okay, so he's opting to go for the Archon ball here. Siege mode is almost a, is over a third of the way complete, but there's nothing for him uh, really to do with that siege mode against uh, Immortals. Don't do as much damage. Now the force fields on this ramp could be a little bit better, but in such a bad position here, Fnatic needs to pull a miracle because um, this is a this is a dangerous force here, and even could supply block him again. Um, yes, he just got supply blocked, and this this means that this is all he has. He's moving forward. The Archon is doing a lot of damage, and now actually he pulls off that miracle that he needed, but the tank that the, what was tanking dies the archon completely dead storm is not uh, is, is now on the way um, and a huge huge feedback there getting one of the medevacs but this other one is still around there is no blink so there is a huge deal here but the reinforcements for marine king prime are back at home and he is starting research for defense level one. Oh, he, he already researched attack level one, so that must have been a, a timed push. I did not see that. But here we have Fnatic moving in to see if there's anything going on here. Marine King in a great position. If he saw these units, then he would be able to shell away right easy. This pylon is out of range, but is it enough here? The tanks in great positions. And you can see that they cannot move anywhere. 
this is the only place where they can switch sides. So that limits extremely here uh, what can be done. Even a factory over here being constructed in the middle of nowhere. This tank positioning uh, is really good. Did not get too close to those rocks. He was not rocking it at all. And now Fnatic is going to make a push. Now that he sees what's going on, bringing in the Immortals first, picking off the first tank. The second tank, it's dead. The third tank, and where's the fourth tank? A great push here from Fnatic. And now this Immortal is not focusing the right units. Maybe it will survive. 15 health. Yes, it does survive. Just barely. The Storms finished just in time here. And this is a great push from Fnatic. This is the miracle that he needed. If he can cancel this engineering bay, then he might be even better. But no, he's going straight for the jugular. He's going for the production facilities. And now the SCVs against an Archon, not a good fight here. And even some more in the background. Fnatic taking, taking such, such losses at the beginning of the game, but now able to turn it around and getting the production facility here. Marine King GG's and leaves the game. This has been game number two. Fnatic has just tied up the series and we'll see what happens next time. This has been Proto Force 5.